Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir and welcome back to Stardew Valley. So it's the beginning of year three now, we're in fall. And as always at the beginning of the year, it's kind of like the worst time I could ever start an episode, but that's kind of what I established that I was gonna do in the very first episode. So we're just fucking rolling with it, man. If you don't like it, well, please don't leave. <laughs> So yeah, we're, we're just going with it here. So I obviously need to plant all my seeds. I need to get everything in order. I need to get all my soil tilled. And that's what I'm going to do. I always check on my farm animals first, though, and get that sorted. So I'm getting that taken care of first. But yeah, guys, it's been a whole year in game. And it's been uh, it's been a pretty long time since I've played it on the channel as well. I did, like, take some time off from this game. Like, I stopped playing it for a little while. Because, like, I just... I really wasn't feeling it, I guess. And now I'm back. Now I've finally returned after all this time. And yeah, we're just booting up an episode. I'm going to get my farm set up. I'm going to get my crops planted, which nowadays is usually a two-day endeavor just because I have so many crops. I have so much shit I have to do. And as soon as that's sorted, we'll get into a bunch of really cool shit that I intentionally lined up to be able to do in an episode. Like, I've been saving a lot, and I'm really excited to finally... Yeah, I know I don't have any mail. I'm really excited to finally be able to kind of, like, show that stuff to you guys. Because I know um, some of the episodes have been a little slow, and this probably is not going to be one of them. So, yeah, guys, I just... I didn't milk anything because I'm talking and I'm just not thinking. So, yeah, guys, I'm just gonna have to kind of get everything sorted a little bit and then we'll we'll reconvene shortly so yeah guys i'm just gonna start getting my shit in order here all right guys so like i said it's a couple days later literally two days later and now i'm pretty much set up on my farm for the rest of the month so from here i can finally start showing you all the cool shit that i wanted to show you And if you're wondering why i'm getting those little hearts above the animals it's because you have to do that and you have to keep it up in order to make the animals like actually happy because if they're happy then they produce better quality products so yeah it's kind of like this vicious cycle where you kind of have to do it and you build up the hearts and you make them love you and then when they love you they produce higher quality shit so it's just this little extra shit i gotta do and i only found out a few months ago but i got all my animals to five hearts which is the max so i'm doing pretty well on that front and it is raining although if you notice i have these water sprinklers all spread out so even if it wasn't raining all my crops would be watered which me which means i don't have to spend a bunch of time every day now fucking watering my crops that's probably the biggest change that has happened on this farm at least in my opinion and probably the best change that has happened on this farm <laughs> so i'm just gonna grab a few things and then let's uh let's head right into town so the first cool thing that I wanted to show you that I've been working on, and I've been sitting on the ability to do this for about a month, is I have finally completed, or am about to complete, the fucking town hall shit. So you can see here, I'm only missing one. That's one star up here, which brings me over to here, where I'm only missing one single package, which I needed this oak resin to complete. Boom. I am now done this. I need to grab... Oh, gold bars. Those are nice. And then it's going to do this weird shit. Which I think I've shown on camera before, but I might be wrong. And they're going to be like, Oh, the last bundle. Farewell, Rob. Oh, they were saying that after I completed all the bundles, they were going to, like, disappear into the ether or something. So, yeah, there we go. All that shit's done. And now they're going to have, like, a little dance party, I guess. I'd like to get the mouse off the screen, but it's not letting me. Goodbye! Bye! Okay. So... Juminos have returned to the spirit world. Now this place is fucking kicking. It's fully operational. They won't let me use anything in here, though, I guess. But I have completed absolutely everything there is to complete 
in this place. For me, that was like a two and a half year job. <laughs> like, that was definitely not an easy one. But I'm really, really proud of the fact that I fucking completed this place. And now look, it's all, it's nice and fixed up. And I'm sure the mayor is going to have nice things to say to me when we finally talk about the fact that, hey, I fixed up your fucking place. So that's that's going to be the, the thing for today. I'm going to try and pace it out, do one thing each day. That way, for me personally, it doesn't feel like I'm getting so fucking slammed. Where like I try and do everything in one day and I just get overwhelmed. So so that's the thing for today. So we'll check back probably tomorrow. Oh, okay. So apparently because I completed the community center, everybody who had posted about stuff they needed in the community center now got all the stuff years later. So I guess yay me is the moral of that story. I don't know. I'm not ready quite yet to show you guys what's up for this day, but I just thought that was kind of an interesting thing to... I wanted to kind of call attention to it because I was like, oh, okay, huh. That's, that's not quite what I was expecting. I was hoping for a cash reward, but I guess the mayor being happy is good enough. And another thing I got to show you guys is this is the greenhouse, which was repaired as a reward for doing some of the community center stuff. And because I have the greenhouse, I can just grow fruit all year long without having to worry about anything. So I have trees set up for every kind of fruit. There's a few that are growing like randomly. It's because like I, I was waiting to get the money and I was waiting until everything was set up and then finally it was. So yeah, I'm, I'm in really good shape actually. Like I'm just starting to churn out money, which is really, I mean, that's what you want, right? In any game, not even just this one. You just want to be able to fucking mass produce money. And I'm pretty much at that point now. Over here, these trees are all gonna get tappers. They're not all quite ready yet, but every single one, oh, there's some shit I didn't clear out here. Every single one is gonna get a tapper on it. Other than these fruit trees down here, which are all growing, that way I just have plenty of fruit trees. But that way I can mass produce like the resin and everything. And it's just, this over here, if I have wheat or beets, I can put them in there to make stuff. I'm just, my farm is in an extremely good place right now. And actually, before we set out, why not start one of the cool things in motion here, which is I found a dinosaur egg. And apparently what you do with a dinosaur egg is you, you have to have a coop. So you go in the coop and there's a thing over here called an incubator which will hatch eggs for you. So apparently I can hatch dinosaurs now. So that's that's just gonna be kind of brewing in the background while I do other shit here. So that's, that's cool. I, I don't know what the dinosaurs look like. I don't know what they do. I don't know what they produce, but I'm really curious in seeing because that's just such a random thing. Although having played this game for as long as I have now, it's kind of not that surprising of a thing. Oh, there, this is what I was expecting. Everybody's celebrating the fucking the community center I built. That's awesome. Hey, there's Marnie. She's fucking the mayor. I found his, uh, his uh, underwear in her room at one point. There, this is what I was expecting though. Like people being like, yeah, it's finished. Oh wow, everybody's in there. Fuck, that's cool. The museum guy. The three sisters? There's the mayor. Willie's looking at the fishing thing, yeah. The old people are relaxing, yeah! That's nice. It feels like there's actually a reward at the end of putting in all that work, you know what I mean? Because that was a lot of work. Holy fuck, that was a lot of work. This isn't where I was intending to go, though. I'm not sure how you did it, Rob, but the community center never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is very pleased. He gives me a little smiley. As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with this town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. Oh, wow, I got a trophy. That's cool. That's going to go up in my house. Who's grumbling? Yeah, who's that? Oh, it's this guy. Sales have been plummeting. Where are all my customers gone? Oh, Morris. This is the guy who owns the JoJo Mart. Yep, they've been going here. What? All my customers here? This isn't good. 
Oh, Pierre is gonna be like, "Hey, bitch." <laughs> Um, I guess let's be reasonable. Hmm. It's of no consequence. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me. You'll be making mo You'll make no money, bitch. Gather around, everyone. Actually, I would have to give him a new voice, wouldn't I? I don't know what any of the voices I gave to any of these people are, by the way. <laughs> what fucking voice? I remember when I first moved to Pelican Town, this building was active and vibrant. We worked together to make the town a better place. There was a real sense of community, just like the show Community. George, you always used to do the crossword puzzle while sipping coffee in the community kitchen, remember? The old guy. The good old days. Emily, you wore that custom banner. You wove that custom banner for the Stardew Fair. It was a lot of fun. Willie! Remember when your little crowd experiment got out of hand? Okay, so he's just reminiscing with everybody, I guess. You see everyone? Our community is what makes Pelican Town special. When Jojo Mart came to town, we lost sight of that. But now, thanks to Rob, we have a second chance. I'm asking that you all join me in boycotting Jojo Mart. We have the power to reclaim our way of life. Who's with me? I mean, probably most people will say yes, I guess. Yeah, everybody, everybody's down. Does Jojo Mart just close? I actually would go there on the days where the general store is closed to get some backup seeds. I hope it doesn't actually close, but yeah. They were, oh God, Jojo Mart's gone. Fuck, I, that, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Fuck. All right, let's process some geodes. And then, <laughs> fuck man. Then I'll go up and look. I've got stuff to donate to the museum, so I'll do that now as well. Which actually, I might as well keep you guys in the in the loop here while I go and donate to the museum. So there's actually quite a bit of stuff to donate here. Well, not quite a bit to donate, but quite a bit to show you, because see all this here? I have almost completed the entire collection. I'm really not missing a whole lot. Ah, it kind of glitches out there like I'm really I'm not missing that much anymore so we're, we're, we're getting pretty pretty down to the wire here so the reason why I came into town though is actually because of Abigail so you might remember Abigail she's the chick with the purple hair who I think in the first episode or maybe in the second one I had decided that she was gonna be my girl well, now I finally have the means to make that happen. Yeah, I can get seaweed for Robin after. So she's right here. Um, I got some new achievements for doing stuff. What, what achievements did I just get? Oh, cause everybody likes me now. So I got an achievement for getting a, like a, a heart level with a bunch of people. Yeah, I guess that's the main thing that I got there. So, because Abigail really likes me and we've gotten to that special place, if I give her flowers, she's gonna become my girlfriend. That's how it works in real life too, guys. So just remember, get, get the girl to about eight hearts on you and then give her some flowers. You wanna get more serious? I feel the same way. I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? So now we're, we're, we're just, we're dating, like, yeah, yeah. So that's just the thing. And which means if I go here, um, where are the people? See, she, she, she has the flower next to her. She's called my girlfriend and she's missing two hearts. Well, if I go over to anybody else who is single, the last two hearts are grayed out. So I got to get her up to 10. Which maybe did that. No, that didn't quite do it. But basically her birthday is this month which is why I intentionally planned this for this month and her birthday's on the 13th if I wait till the 13th if I give her her favorite food which she loves everything's worth like four times as much on the birthday so basically it's just gonna end up with things going well and then I'm gonna marry her in this month Hopefully, assuming I have enough time. So that's that's what's going to be happening with that. I just got to like, keep talking to her and giving her gifts pretty much every day now. So that that's uh, that's what's going down. So I feel like I've done enough for today. 
So we'll pick up with the cool shit again tomorrow. Now the next thing I wanted to show you guys was actually this little area over here. So this here is, remember the grandpa thing where he's like, uh, uh, I'll return in fucking three years, Sonny, make sure you're prepared. Well, that happened, and on that day, these three candles lit up, and I was visited that night by the spirit of my grandpa in my dream, so he didn't fucking resurrect himself, saying, oh, you took good care of the farm, keep it up. So apparently, you get points for doing various things in the game for people, for your animals, for your farm. If you light up all four of the candles, something special happens. I also bought a horse, which is pretty cool. I can just kind of go around on him. It's a lot faster than walking, but I also find it, I don't know, something about it feels weird, so I don't really use it that much. And then this here is a slime hutch, where I'm probably gonna have to fight my way out. But basically, you can raise slimes in here. Right now, I've just got way too many, which is why I'm just fucking killing them all. But... I can raise slimes in there, and yeah, I'm almost out of health, so I have to do it another day. <laughs> but if you fill the water troughs, they will, or troughs, they will fucking um, make slime balls that you can collect on that give you like slime, like just lots and lots of slime. So it's pretty cool. So it's very dangerous, would not recommend for beginners, but it's a cool thing that you can do. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that today because I thought it was pretty cool when I discovered it. And it's also just, it's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So the other cool thing that I wanted to show you is now the next day is that I actually unlocked the sewers by donating enough artifacts to Gunther's museum. When you unlock the sewers, you get this weird place here. You can fish off the end and there's a few crazy legendary fish that you can get. But you also get this new guy who sells some random shit. I'd like to get the return scepter which will automatically let me return to my farm, but I find it a little bit hard to justify that price of two million dollars. That's a lot of money. Maybe in year four, I'll have $2 million to spend. As you can probably tell, I'm not really sure which side I put the face cam on. Um, I do have $200,000 to spend right now. And probably by the end of the season, it'll be up to like three, 400. Well, definitely it'll be up to three, maybe four. But in the other end of the sewers actually takes you out over here, which is also pretty cool. So yeah, that's that's another thing. Like I said, I'm trying to stage these things out day by day just so I don't feel so rushed and so I don't fuck up my farm so bad. So that's pretty much it for today. So we'll probably catch up maybe tomorrow or maybe the next day on the Noir East Farm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I was really curious on what actually happened to the Jojo Mart. So um, it's still here. It's just now closed. And this looks slightly different than before, although I never really paid that much attention overall. So yeah, it's still there. It's still a thing. Uh, I'm gonna go check up on my babe because we are getting married soon. That's something I gotta, I gotta remember about. I don't wanna bring you oars, Clint. Um, so she's hopefully, yes, there she is. Hey girl. Yeah, you probably will become, you'll become my farmer wife. How would it ever happen? You become my farmer wife. That's how it would happen. So I'm actually super ahead on everything today. So I want to go and put the diamond on the pedestal and try and resummon grandpa. Because apparently you can by doing this. So I'm curious on uh, what exactly happens if I summon grandpa again. So let's, let's go check that out. All right, so let's do this. So, I placed the diamond on his shrine, so it's probably not until tonight where shit actually happens. So, yeah. I'll do a bit more and then we'll, we'll cut right to tonight to see like what actually happens from that. And so, interesting piece of trivia here. This guy is the guy you gotta see when you're ready to get married, and he sells you an amulet that makes the marriage happen and he only appears on rainy days. I was really hoping I could buy the amulet ahead of time. Apparently I'm gonna have to wait until Abigail and me are ready and then wait for another day where it's raining. Although apparently there's a few ways to make it rain. So maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. 
We'll see, I guess. Okay, so I went to bed, so let's see. Will Grandpa appear for me? I guess not? Really? Or does he appear after this screen? I thought Grandpa was going to be showing up right about now. What, what, what was the... What did putting the diamond actually do then? It just... If I had had accumulated enough points, would it have allowed me to get all the torches? I guess that's what it would be. It would be you put the diamond when you're ready to try and activate all the candles. Which I guess I was not ready to do. Although, hey, it's actually really pretty out right now. Let's go over and see just in case I'm wrong on that. But I think I was right, to be honest. Oh, all the torches are out now. The fuck? So... I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. <laughs> I'll look more into it some other time. Alright guys, so in-game it's now a few days later. In real life, it has been a day because I got really tired and just didn't really feel like playing anymore. So I took some time off, but it is now my girl Abby's birthday. So, yeah, it's your birthday. There you go. Best friends, new achievement. Does that mean that we are now 10 hearts? We are now max hearts. Which means I can actually marry this girl soon, which is probably something I want to get done in this episode. So that's some good progress. That's that's something to to be proud of, I guess. And um, another thing I will show the footage right now is that Grandpa visited me, actually, when I booted the game up today. And he was like, congratulations. You know, last time I was a little rough on you, but you did a really good job. And now fucking take this. I'm not going to tell you about this, but uh, you can actually get a statue from this. And yeah, yay, I'm going to go to the afterlife now. So that was basically the thing. And I got the, the statue, which I put in my farm over here. It's this purple thing there. And that statue actually produces iridium every day. Every morning when I go over, there's fresh iridium that I can pick up. And iridium is like the most valuable material in the game, like the most valuable ore. It's really hard to find in the mines. The bars are really tough. I need it to be able to upgrade all my tools to the final stages and to build like the more advanced shit. And it's just cool that now I actually get like free iridium every day and I don't have to like go hardcore looking in the mines for like days and days on end just to find it. You know what I mean? Like that's a nice touch. That's a nice kind of like end game item that I'm very appreciative that they gave me. So yeah. Oh, that's actually making shit for me. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I think I'm probably going to get a message from the mayor about marriage shortly. So I think we're pretty much going to be waiting on that for the next big event. And yeah, would you look at that? I got an, a mail here. Rawl, I'm going to give you this advice because I like you and I want you to stay in Pelican Town. If there comes a day that you want to ask for someone's hand in marriage, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Don't worry, everyone in Pelican Town understands the significance of the amulet. It's an ancient tradition in this region. Good luck. So I can only get that from a random dude who appears on the beach when it rains. Let's see. Forecast for tomorrow, it's clear and sunny. So I pretty much need to wait until it rains, which it will rain again this season. Although, apparently there's a way to speed it up with something called a rain totem. This here, where, oh fuck, I could actually make that. You know what, there's a festival tomorrow in the town, so I'm gonna go to that, and if it's not raining the day after the festival, I'm gonna use the rain totem. Oh shit, I just went into my coop and, um, sure, apparently, oh my god, I got a dino. I got my dinosaur. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Okay. So yeah, now my dinosaur has hatched. That's um that's just a cool thing that I get to deal with. <laughs> I think he's going to lay dinosaur eggs, which is great because I'll need one to be able to donate it to fucking Gunther in the museum. So yeah, that's pretty cool actually. And I went to town and I read like the um like the calendar and everything. And it turns out that the festival actually isn't for two days. 
So I could probably make it rain tomorrow. That way I could get the amulet to propose to fucking my girl. So I'm gonna try and do that. And then the day after will be the festival. And then I think you get married within two days, maybe three days of like um, proposing basically. So that would actually be really good timing to kind of round out this episode. So, th so that's the plan. So I'm gonna make a rain totem here in a second, and then we'll uh, try and make it rain tomorrow. Okay, so let's let's um, let's try and make this thing and see. Um, do I not have the right stuff? I need. Oh fuck! I need five pine tar. Wow, that's actually a lot. Do I even have five? I thought it was three. God damn, my bad eyesight and distance from this to this. That That's all my pine tar. Tell me it's enough. Oh god, I have one fucking chance at this. Alright. Use it. I guess... I guess that worked? I don't actually need to stay awake anymore, and I'm really curious to see if that worked, so I'm just gonna head right to bed. And so I don't think my dinosaur is going to start laying eggs yet, by the way. I think it's going to take it a while. Like, it's going to have to grow up for a few months. But it's pretty fucking sweet that I now have a pet dinosaur that's just kind of hanging out in my coop. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep it to one dinosaur. I don't think I need two, but that's pretty awesome. So, day 15, let's see. Is it raining? Did I get very lucky and it worked? So saying it greatly increases the chance, but it didn't guarantee the chance. And it's not raining. Son of a bitch. Is it gonna rain tomorrow then? Fuck. No, it's gonna be clear and sunny tomorrow as well. Son of a bitch. Okay guys, so apparently I didn't activate the rain totem by putting it down. Uh, there's some way to activate it that I honestly for the life of me cannot figure out how. I already have everything in here, but regardless, we're back because it's now a festival. Hey, hello, my darling wife. So it is now a festival and I can actually set up a display. So that's what I'm gonna do. I grabbed a bunch of these purple starred items because I think they're worth the most, along with a bunch of other just random crap. And I'm just gonna kind of put all this up for display and hopefully, Hopefully he likes what he sees, you know what I mean? Because it is the mayor. Now there are a bunch of games you can do in here, like this one lets you double your points, your coins. Um, this is a fishing mini game. This is like a shooter, but I've done them all to death. This just randomly lets you test your, test your strength. Which, how do I do it again? Yeah, like that. And then he just talks shit on you basically, but yeah. I set up a thing. Yes, judge it. Let's see. Am I am I good? I don't know if I'm going to win with this one. I've won 1 out of 3 years so far. Maybe this maybe this will make it 2 out of 3. Well, I won 1 out of 2, you know what I mean? Yeah, look at all that nice shit. Look at it. Look at it. You like it. You know you like it. Apparently he hates the fish, which is why Willie never will ever win. I don't know. Let's see. What do you what do you, what do you think, Lewis? What 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 do you think? What are you thinking? What's going on in your head, bro? Come on, come on. Give me something. Give me something. Come on, man. Come on. Well. Yeah. What's up? Oh, I won. Oh, and he gave me a thousand star tokens, which is good for absolutely nothing because I have all the prizes. Well, I think I'm done here. I'm gonna head back home. Yep. And I'm gonna try and figure out this fucking rain totem, because for the life of me, I can't figure it out. On the PC version, they say you you have to like click it to activate it, and it's supposed to be consumed on use. If you go here, see, it says consumed on use. No, I don't want to throw it out. J fuck off. Okay, so this is how I gotta do it, apparently. Now there's supposed to be a very high chance of it raining tomorrow, and if that's what happens, then we're in really good shape here. Alright guys, so I guess, uh, let's see if it worked. Oh, it worked! That's awesome! 
All right, so I gotta I gotta collect all my shit and get my farm in order before we we fucking go and get that shit going. But well, actually, fuck no. Mm, mm. Do I actually need to do anything? Fuck. I really, really. No, I have the seeds. All right, fuck it. We're just we're just gonna make a beeline right for the beach. Get that pendant. Give it to Abigail, and then get the marriage cooking. Because probably after I'm married, that's where I'm going to end the episode. So yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with that. I do, I know I, I tried to show the full season in like episode two, I think. I think showing half of the season gives you a good enough feel for it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't feel like you really need to see the full season. The only other interesting thing would be the final festival that you will, that will happen like at the end. But at this point, because I've done all the festivals so much, I don't even really participate in them that much. So, I mean, as cool as it would be to show you guys that, there's not a ton of value to it, unfortunately. So, okay. I have these down here, but I never check them because it's so rare I actually come down to the beach. So the guy is over here, I do believe. Oh, oh, and there's another one right up here. The beach always has a lot of good stuff, though, that you can sell. That's, that's one of the nice things about it. Okay, where... Yeah, he's right there. Hey, dude. Okay. Ah, I see it in your eyes. There be a special someone in your heart. Just so happens I'm selling a mermaid's pendant. Give that to your intended and they'll know exactly what you mean. Means kind of cut off by the buy thing, but there we go. I got the pendant. So I'm just going to collect whatever is left to collect here, which apparently is not very much. And it's almost 9 a.m., which means Abigail should be... Waking up soon so I can go give that to her and we're getting married. Yeah, that's going to be... I don't know. Apparently they move in with you and you can even have kids if you want to. I don't think I'm going to have kids in this game. <laughs> or if I do, I would wait until next episode of Stardew Valley and that's when we would have a kid. So yeah, I, I guess we'll just kind of see what, what happens here. What do you need? You need a bok choy for Lewis? Yeah, I can do that. All right. Uh, hey, Pierre. Let's uh, let's go give your daughter her fucking marriage thing. Okay, what do you think? <gasps> I accept! Yeah, you better fucking accept. <laughs> She'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days. Oh, fuck, I, gotta, I got three more days left in this episode, I guess. All right. I mean, all right. I guess that's, that's what's going on. Oh, oh, we're getting married, guys. We're getting married. I can't move, by the way. This is just plan. When Rob first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Rob is going to be as much a part of this town as any of us. It is my great honor on this day, 20 of fall, to unite Rob and Abigail in the bonds of marriage. Fuck. Do I have to remember 20th of fall for anniversary shit from now on? That doesn't sound cool. That sounds too much like real life. All right. Are we going to... Well, let's get right to it. Are we, uh... Rob Abigail, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. I think that was more of like a hug, but... Oh, okay. There's... Switchblades, not switchblades, razor blades going through the air right now. It sounds like my kind of wedding. Life is going to be different from now on, but the future looks bright. Okay, so... So it's it's still, it's 6 a.m. again, I'm just kind of on my farm. Um, oh, okay, she's in here now. Huh. Oh, and her room is now joined to mine. Well, at least I get that fucking cool-ass uh, Super Nintendo over there in the corner. Yeah, this is this is my house. I don't know if I've shown it. Hey, Abby, how's it going? And then here is, like, just a random room and a nursery where we can raise children if we want. How's it going? 
Honey, you're worth more than a chest full of quartz. Okay. Oh yeah, she loves amethyst. All right, was that supposed to be like a sweet burn? I don't, I don't know. Um, this is my cellar, by the way, where I age cheeses and wines. So I guess I'm just gonna finish out the day, and we'll kind of see what happens with her. I mean, apparently, um, this spot here, behind here, is now where she goes. What the fuck? I did not mean to do that. Well, I guess I'll get rid of that. Apparently she will go back here to practice instruments now. So that's that's a thing that I'm gonna have to get used to. Like, no, you guys didn't see it. I saw her by a, a lake at one point playing like the flute and I joined in on the violin. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be something like that. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna kind of go about my day and if anything cool happens with her, I'll, I'll kind of speak up, I guess. But uh, yeah. That was my marriage. It felt a little anticlimactic, but yeah, that was that. So yeah, guys, nothing special really seemed to happen. Apparently she's supposed to be able to help out with the farm work, but I think maybe because it's day one or I don't know, maybe she just doesn't feel like it. She feels like freeloading for a little bit. I don't know. Just, she hasn't really done much today. Uh, apparently I can hug her or kiss, I don't know. I, I'm wondering if she'll feel smothered if I keep doing it over and over. Are you just gonna... St she's just gonna stand there, I guess? Oh, she's one of my trophies. She's my trophy wife. <laughs> I didn't even set that up. So yeah, guys, that's where I'm gonna end this one. That was the month of fall. Now, yeah, the month of fall. The season, I guess. There's only four months in a year in Stardew. So yeah, um, in the next one, which will be a year and a month in-game from today will be going to winter and exploring all about winter. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. So it's been a while since this has shown up on the channel. This game in here. Well, there's a guy there. Maybe we can throw ore at him. Oh, I think we're probably supposed to sneak by him because we're in squid form right now?